my studio. As you can see, I have everything here that most home sewers would have. And in addition, I've got a collection of really wonderful costume history books. Which are so handy when working on period costumes. Also, over here, I've got dress forms so I can make costumes for everybody in the family, including the family dog. I started by sewing costumes for the theater, community theater first, but then I moved to New York City because I wanted to study singing, but to make ends meet I ended up working in the professional Broadway shops. What an incredible experience. I became a costumer, but I still do some performing. There is beauty in the bellow of the blast. There is grandeur in the growling of the game. There's an eloquent affording when the lion is adoring and the tiger is lashing on a steel. And I've even turned some of my personal theatrical costumes that I've worn on stage into simplicity patterns. When I started working for Simplicity, I was mostly doing kids' costumes for Halloween, even babies. But dressing for Renaissance fairs became really, really popular and got really busy doing that. But people still are making Renaissance costumes, especially for Pirate Day. I like making costumes that are pretty and flattering. I've been told by many people that they've made that for their wedding dress, which that feels really good, you know. This summer, I was the keynote speaker at the American Sewing Guild Conference in San Diego, where they featured 30 years of my work. I still really enjoy making costumes for children, but it's great designing for all the enthusiastic young cosplayers. My job is to make patterns that work. People can make the costume pretty much the way it looks like on the envelope, but what I really love is when people take my patterns and use them as a jumping off point to make something that they've imagined. That's why we all sew, isn't it? <laughs>